All right, so um, continuing on, I'm uh, I know I'm jumping around. I didn't have nothing queued up, but just flowing in the spirit. All right, this is uh, Luke 19 and 27. It says, and this is Yahweh shot, but those mine enemies, which that I should not reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. All right, so that's another cut letting you know Yahweh shot had enemies. All right, when he was on the scene, he was not liked and loved by all. All right. Two thirds of our people didn't accept your house shot when he was on the scene. All right, that's why um they chose Barabbas over your house shot. All right, when when Pilate, you know what I'm saying, was 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 saying he wanted to release a prisoner and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? He said he found no no wrong in your house shot and asked uh the Israelites who who would they rather see freed a a, a, a thief, all right, a, a wicked ass nigga. You know what I'm saying that you would see in the world today, or would you rather see a righteous man be freed? All right, and our people chose the wicked man. All right. That's because our people hate righteousness, all right? You know what I'm saying? And they also said, you know what I'm saying? Let his blood be on us and our children, all right? So now in the days that we in now, you know what I'm saying? Our people got to honor that, you know what I'm saying? They've honored, they've been, you know what I'm saying, dying throughout, you know what I'm saying, the, the generations since that's happened. But the ultimate judgment for that for that era is going uh, it's gonna take place now, all right? Yeah, how about you, man? Man, let me get it. It's in uh, Isaiah, let me think, uh, Isaiah 66 and verse 4. God damn it, get away from me. All right, this is Isaiah 66 and 4. It say, I also will choose their delusions. All right. And will bring their fears upon them, because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before mine eyes, and chose that in which I delighted not. All right, so Yahweh Bashmah Shah is going to choose your delusions, all right? He's going to choose your biggest fears and bring them upon you, all right? And then he's going to laugh at you afterwards, all right? Let me go to Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. All right, we're going to go on down. It say, Wisdom cried without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gate in the city, she uttereth her words. All right, and that's talking about the street preaching, all right? The Israelites being out on the streets, all right, in the chief places of concourse, all right, preaching and telling our, you Israelites, all right, what time it is, as well as you heathen as well. We have to tell everybody, all right, what time it is. We prophets to the nations, all right? It say, uh, verse 22, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? I'm talking about you two-thirds. And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge, all right? And remember we read earlier, it said, uh, my people is foolish, for they have not known me, all right? All right, verse 24, it says, because I have called by the mouth of the prophets, as we read in um, Luke 1 and 70, as it spake by the mouth of the prophets, all right? Because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have set at night all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I will also, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. All right, so as we just read a while ago in Isaiah 64, I mean 66 and 4, it says, uh, your help Hashem is going to choose your delusion. All right, and now it says when, in Proverbs 1, and 26, it says, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, all right? So, Yahabashim Yashai is going to bring your fear upon you, all right? And he says he's going to laugh afterwards, all right? When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall ye call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they that hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Most High Yahweh, all right, they were none of my counsel, they despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the, prosper and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. All right, so because you rejected Yahweh Shem Shai, you rejected this truth, all right, Yahweh Shem Shai is going to reject you and he's going to mock and laugh at you, all right. He's going to choose your, your fears. He's going to bring them upon you. And when you start screaming and crying and hollering like a little bitch, you know what I'm saying, for mercy, Yahweh Shemel Shai is going to laugh, all right? 
And how's he gonna laugh? Through his prophets, all right? Through his men, all right? When all this shit that's getting ready to take place actually does start taking place and all you people, you know what I'm saying? You proud ass Israelites, you proud ass women, all right? You start getting your children snatched from you, all right? You women start getting raped, you know what I'm saying? Because you women want to defund the police so fucking bad, all right? What are you gonna do, all right, when a lot of these wild ass niggas get full of that weed and full of that drink? All right, and they want to come fuck some. What you going to do then? All right? You ain't going to do nothing because it ain't going to be nobody for you to call, all right? But, you know what I'm saying? You people are fucking, you know what I'm saying, gone. But it's no saving you people, all right? You're number to the sword either way, all right? Number to the sword either way, all right? Esau's going to snatch your children away from you. He's going to put your children in these fucking um, little concentration camps, these fucking little cages, you know what I'm saying? You fucking Negroes, you know what I'm saying? We're fucking taking it lightly, you know what I'm saying, at the beginning of the year, whether, uh, I think it was, uh, was it, whether it was the beginning of this year or toward the end of last year when Esau, all right, came down on the, on the northern tribes, all right, the Hispanics, and he was snatching their kids at the borders, all right, you didn't think that shit would happen to you, but guess what, Esau has painted you and the Hispanics, you know what I'm saying, as the face of COVID-19, all right, so now when this devil comes down with great wrath, all right, he's going to want to make sure you the first people, all right, to get his fucking vex, all right, you don't know what's in that fucking vaccine, all right? And if you take it, you know what I'm saying? Woe unto you, all right? It's like you. But yeah, that's what's happening right now. Let me pause this real quick. I can one second. All right, Slacky, y'all can have to get that damn off. All right, damn nets is flying everywhere. But yeah, as I was saying, um, your help I smell outside is gonna bring your fears upon you two thirds, all right? Lost my train of thought for a minute, so like that with number Satan, all right? Kicking all these damn nets and shit up, all right? But as I was saying, all right, two thirds of our people, all right? It's nothing we can do for them, all right? Yahweh Shah even said, don't even, Yahweh Bash Mel said, don't even pray for the two thirds, all right? All right, how should I say don't even pray, pray for the two-thirds, all right? Because, you know what I'm saying, he's not going to hear it. That's in Jeremiah 7 and 16, all right? It says, not lift up neither prayer nor make intercession. You know what I'm saying? On, on, on your two-thirds behalf, all right? Basically, hard-headed-ass children, all right? Who need your little asses whooped, all right? And your house is going to use Esau to do it, all right? The sword of the Most High, all right? That's Psalm 17 and 3, all right? I mean, Psalm 17 and 13, so like, I'm sorry. Psalm 17 and 13. It reads, Arise, O Most High Yahweh, cast him. I mean, Arise, O Most High Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, all right? So, you know what I'm saying? It's letting you know, all right, Esau is the sword of the Most High, all right? And Yahweh is coming back to stomp Esau out, all right? He's going to stomp that devil in the wine press, all right, as it says in Isaiah 63. All right, who is this coming? Who is this that coming from Edom, with dyed gar garments from Basra? All right, because uh, Yahweh Shai is gonna do a number on you fucking Edomites. All right, and the ones of you Edomites that he doesn't kill, that he preserves. All right, you're gonna be the first fruits of slavery. All right, and we almost at that time, baby. Let me go to Jeremiah uh, uh, 16 and 16. All right. It says, uh, Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. It's talking about uh, the, the prophets going to be fishing for the elect, all right? Going to be fishing for the elect, all right? And then after their fishing time is over, it says, And after I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them, all right? So them same fishermen, all right, them same prophets, them same men you see out on the highways and hedges, all right, bidding you to the marriage, all right? If you be able to, to come to the marriage, all right? They're going to turn into hunters soon, all right? Yeah, how about some outside is going to put that spirit on them to go from fishers to hunters, all right? They say, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and from the holes of the rocks, all right? Because Esau is going to be on the run, all right? Certain men of the Lord are going to get spiritual power, all right? And they're going to be able to do, you know what I'm saying? The scriptures say, uh, Yahweh said, um, the works that I do, you shall do greater, all right? 
So, and you know what I'm saying? And Yahweh's works were so so great that they weren't even written in the Bible. All of them was all of them were not even written, all right? So, he says his men are going to do greater, all right? So, you just use your imagination and, and, and think what the men of the Lord are going to do to those, you know what I'm saying, who've offended them, who've mocked them, who've scoffed them, all right? Who 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 just, you know what I'm saying, turned their nose up at those men, all right? What do you think they're going to do? All right, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim is going to put the spirit on them to do their will, all right? And it's gonna, it's not going to be pretty for you people, all right? But it's a flip side to that because those who understood and did listen, all right, Yahweh Shai is going to have mercy on them, all right? That's why the scriptures say, uh, he that heareth the prophet receiveth the prophet's reward. He that receiveth the prophet shall receive a prophet's reward, all right? So... You know what I'm saying? It's a two-edged sword, all right? It's a double-edged sword, all right? Just like this truth is a double-edged sword, all right? And that's in Hebrews, uh, I think it's 4 and 12. All right. Yeah, this is Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. It says, For the, the word of the Lord is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All right. And when it says the heart is really meaning your mind. All right. So when you bring this, this truth out, all right, it's going to, it's going to tell you, all right, what kind of person you are. All right. There's no gray area. You're either going to be with it or you're going to be against it. All right. You, it's no gray areas. All right. Uh, the scriptures say, let your yay be yay, your nay be nay. All right, Yahweh Shai, don't deal with that, that middle ground, all right? Choose ye this day, all right? Whether you be for righteousness or whether you be for wickedness, all right? Uh, at the end of the day, though, it don't matter what you decide, all right? Because man's goings are the Lord, all right? And if you and if Yahweh Shai wants you, all right, he's going to open up your mind and, and, and I'm saying, he's going to make you accept it, all right? And if he doesn't want you, he's going to close your mind and make you not get it, all right? That's Proverbs 20 and 24 when it tells you, uh, man's going to the Lord. It's like y'all can fucking allergy starting to kick up a little bit, but it's all good. We're going to keep it going. It's Proverbs 20 and 24. It say, man's going to the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? All right. Let's see. Uh, because it's not for a man to understand his own way. All right. The, we, we ain't subject to our power. All right. Let the scripture say, uh, do the clay. What is, uh. Well, what did it say? The, do the clay not have some of the potter that formed it? It's something of, of those lines, all right? But yeah, we just vessels in whom Yahweh Bashim El Shai is controlling. All right, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna continue to go. I'm gonna go a little bit longer before I close it out. Let me see. Uh, let's go to Jeremiah chapter 10 now. All right. I'm going to read Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 23. It says, O Most High Yahweh, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. O Most High Yahweh, correct me, but with judgment, not in thine anger, least thou bring me, bring me to nothing. All right. So that's another precept again, letting you know. We're not in control of our own steps. Yahweh Bashim is, all right. Read verse 25, it says, Pour out thy fury upon the heathen that know thee not, and upon the families that call not on, on thy name. For they have eaten up Jacob, and devoured him, and consumed him, and have made his tabulation desolate. All right. And you know what I'm saying? It says, The families that call on not his name, that's talking about these other nations. All right. But it also could be used to talk about the two thirds. All right. Because two thirds of our people, you know what I'm saying? They don't call on Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? They call it on some fucking uh, Ahaya, uh, uh, Shia, uh, some fucking Jesus. Or they might be into another um, religion calling on Allah. You know what I'm saying? You Negroes are calling on everything under the sun. You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So, like, let me make sure I say that right. Uh, they, the Hispanics are subscribed to what's that? Uh, Santa Maria. Right? They heavy into Cesare Bozior, you know what I'm saying? Sweet Jesus, all right? They Catholics and shit, you know what I'm saying? You you Israelites, all right? You two-third Israelites will do everything under the sun 
accept righteousness, all right? That's why the scriptures say uh, they're, they're quick to do evil, but to do righteousness, they have no understanding, all right? Because our people, you know what I'm saying? They don't have understanding in them, all right? Yahweh Shem Yahushua didn't give them understanding, all right? He numbered them to the sword because he wants to destroy them, all right? You know what I'm saying? And we just hoping and praying we don't fall into that light, all right? Because it's going to be a bad day, you know what I'm saying? When Yahweh Shem Yahushua actually opens up on you damn people, all right? Let me go to Jeremiah 11. I'm going to start at verse 9. <clears throat> it say, all right, it reads, And the Lord said unto me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. All right, the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. That's the uh, southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words, and they went after other gods to serve them. The house of Judah, I mean the house of Israel, and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. So they're talking about the whole family, all right? It says, Therefore, thus saith the Most High Yahweh, Behold, I will bring evil upon them which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. All right, so Yahweh is going to bring evil on the two thirds, all right? When you jump down to verse 14, it says, Therefore, pray not for this people, neither lift up, cry. Or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. All right, so again, y'all by some outside is not going to hear you in your time of distress. All right, he's going to laugh at you as the scripture said, he's going to mock you. All right, you know what I'm saying? And then we just hoping and praying, you know what I'm saying, that we ain't know that number. All right, I brought the Zaya, how about some outside? You know what I'm saying? I don't fall victim, you know what I'm saying, of that number. All right. So let me get a let me get a couple more. Get ready and close it out. All right. Go to Lamentations chapter four, verse twenty-one. I'm gonna start at twenty-one. It say, "Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom." Talking about you, so-called white people. The dwellers in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins, all right? And that's why Esau, Edom, all right, is going to be in a hurry, all right, to, to push out his RFID chip, all right, which is the mark of the beast that it speaks of in Revelation 13 and 6, because he knows, all right, our, 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 our punishment is over, you know what I'm saying? We're at the end of this thing, all right? Second Ezra 6 and 9 tells you Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, all right? So we at the end of Esau's world, all right? And Esau, the elite of Esau, know this, all right? And they know in the next world, nothing good is coming to them. They're going into slavery, captivity, punishment, all right? And it's going to be recompensed to them, you know what I'm saying, with interest on it, you know what I'm saying? How about some outside? Said, double it up, all right? Uh, so... Esau is going to do what he can, all right, to try to stay in power and keep his kingdom, all right? And the only way he can do that, all right, is if he's to get his RFID trip implemented, all right, and for the whole world to take it, all right? That's the only way he sees he can do that, all right? It shows you how stupid Esau is because, you know what I'm saying, he thinks he actually has power when Yahweh Bashim Yahushai set him up to do everything he did, all right? The same way Yahweh Shai set up Pharaoh, all right, to do what he did, he set up Esau to do what he did to magnify his name, all right? Because the scriptures say uh, this deliverance that takes place on this side is going to outdo the deliverance that took place from Egypt, all right? And, 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 and you know what I'm saying? We still speak on what took place when we were delivered from Egypt still to this day. So just imagine how much more immaculate, you know what I'm saying, this deliverance is going to be, all right? So Esau Edom was raised up. The so-called white man was raised up. Just so Yahweh Shah could come back and take him down and show his power and magnify his name, you know what I'm saying, and magnify, you know what I'm saying, his elect after that, all right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah get, get, get the first glory, you know what I'm saying, and then the elect follow suit, all right? Because we inherited, we inherit this thing with them, all right? So, you know what I'm saying? The mark of the beast that it speaks of in Revelation 13 and 16 is the microchip, all right? Esau got his vaccine coming out pretty soon. All right, and soon after that vaccine is dropped, that, that chip is going to drop, all right? It will behoove you not to take it, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm 
what I'm saying? If you meant to take it, you're going to take it. The scriptures say the election will not be deceived, all right? So if you ain't meant to take it, you ain't going to take it. If you meant to take it, you're going to take it, all right? Either way, you know what I'm saying? how about some outside the ruler in the kingdom of men, all right? And don't nothing go on without his approval and his say so, all right? So I'm going to close out with that, you know what I'm saying? I brought this out willing, you know what I'm saying? It was edifying, all right? We'll give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rekakudash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and where I learn this truth. All right. Peace and salutations to y'all by Shemel Shazalik. Form Yashirala and Wa Baba Ball. Shalom.